Hey, welcome to Tabletop Skirmish Games. I'm Lee, and in this video, we're going to build the terrain from Core Space, the sci fi miniatures game. For this video, we're going to use the battle mat and the terrain cards that we saw in the unboxing video, and we're going to use the Core Space rule book and this is going to give us all the information about the main terrain and the standalone terrain and you can find this on pages eight and nine the core space game is built to work with battle systems modular terrain and this is all made from sturdy full color board and we can assemble this without glue and we don't need any prior hobby knowledge either and before playing for the first time we're going to need to remove all of the walls the small terrain pieces, character boards and counters from the card sheets and some of the small terrain pieces are going to require a little bit of basic assembly and we'll go through that in the standalone section in a moment. And the core space starter set comes with enough terrain to fill a standard 2 by 2 foot gaming area and this is this battle mat you can see here and we're going to get 5 of these terrain cards all together for the main terrain and to play all of the standard missions that's all we're going to need and so in the book there's lots of examples of how to set this up so it's not always going to be the same setup for different missions you're going to arrange the terrain differently and they give you some really awesome guides and maps in the book that to copy and so you know exactly how to lay it out each time and here's an example of the map and each space mission is going to come with a map showing us exactly how to set up the board and the large rectangle pieces are walls and they're assembled in this simple grid to match the map and we use the plastic clips that are provided to do that. The edge of that playing mat is also considered to be a wall for the rules purposes but you don't need to physically place walls around that edge. So in the guidebook it recommends that to set up a game it's going to take you about 20 minutes to set all the terrain pieces and get them all in place and a further 10 minutes to set up the rest of the game components and for me I really enjoy setting up any game with the, the terrain and the different pieces so I really like this aspect of it and I like the fact that it's going to be different every time we play a different mission. But I guess the first time you build it, it's going to take a little bit longer than that because we need to take all these pieces out of the cards and then kind of get them ready, then assemble them. And as we're getting used to it, that's just going to get quicker each time. And of course, you won't have to empty these cards um, every time. You only have to do that once. As well as the walls, Core Space also uses these smaller pieces of standalone terrain and these are on double sided card as well. So it's all printed on both sides. And again, it's that thick good quality that we expect as we've seen in the uh, war pieces as well and in the game these pieces are used to provide cover from shooting attacks and can also represent key objectives in the missions and these standalone pieces often require assembly in order for them to stand upright like the chair and things like that and uh, so to get the stand upright on the board we're going to need to assemble them and the pieces are just going to be simple to push together and we don't need to like glue them but we can if we want to but they may need to be bent or folded a little bit at first just to get them in place and these pieces of terrain have all got like different uses in the game and pieces such as a conduit locker or bunk are intended to be fixed in place and will often clip onto the walls as we'll see once we start assembling it and these pieces can be used as cover but usually won't have any additional rules then we've also got smaller pieces just like the chairs tables and crates and they're going to provide a little bit of cover but can also be moved around the board if we want to and the crates in particular are a really important part of the game and come into the core space rules and crates will usually contain equipment that your traders can pick up and use and at the start of each game you'll fill the crates with a random selection of items and you'll need to search these during the game to see what you can find and so we're going to do all that in future tutorials and I'll go through it in great detail. But for today we're just going to build these so you can see how easy it is to put it all together. And the good thing about the standalone terrain is once you've built it, you don't have to dismantle it. They've made um, some kind of modifications to the box so that we can put them all in the box and keep them in one piece. So when we want to play it again, they're already built and that's going to save us a ton of time. The only thing we take apart are the main walls. Awesome, so that's our introduction to the terrain and the standalone terrain. So I'll get busy now getting all these out of the cards. I'll pop them all out and then what we'll do is we'll start building the standalone terrain first and then we'll move on to the bigger terrain, set up the whole board and I'll get the miniatures out as well and you can see what it all looks like when it's set up and everything's in place. 
And this bit's really easy. We literally just pop them out and out they come. And you can see that it's really nice and thick, great quality. And so they come out really easily. So just push them all out like this. And then these are your struts. So we can keep them all in little piles. And then we've got all these awesome little details, like the little signs, even a toilet sign. So that's really great. And then for all the different shops. So we just push them out. And then you've got the big panels. They come out like this too. And you can see even these really thin bits just easily come away, leaving you with just the wall. And that's the only bit that you need. So we just keep going, get them all out. And then uh, I'll keep doing this. And then I'll come back once it's all popped out. Oh, and you can see here, just a quick one. We've got a little window. So you can push the window out. But you can keep it and put it back in as well because you'll find some rules in the game where you can actually jump through windows and things. So this is really great. But I'll keep, I'll keep going and come back in a second or a couple of minutes when they're all done. Here's one of the standalone terrain cards now with all the pieces popped out. And you can see we've got lots to put together. So we'll assemble those in a second. And as well as the two cards of standalone terrain, we had those five cards that we had to pop out for all the walls. And we've got a few chairs and signs and little other pieces in there for the supports as well. And here we've got a really great selection of walls. So these came out of all the cards. And so really nice. Loads of different ones. Again, it's both sided, so it's all printed in high detail on both sides. So those are the solid pieces of walls. Then we've also got these, and these are going to have windows. Again, we can push these out or leave them in. And when you're playing a game with the rules where you want to jump through the windows, you can leave them in. And as you jump through them, you can just smash it out. And that all adds to the immersion of the game, which is going to be awesome. And then we've also got these little doors that can come out as well. So we can pop all those out if we want to. Then we've got these, which have got the bigger windows. So we've got a few of those. And then we've got some more with some kind of wider doors. So we've got a nice amount of those too. And then on top of that, we get these really long ones. So we've got some big openings that we'll take out. And they've really made use of all the space here, put in like little workstation in that piece of card. So we'll pop those out too, and then build the workstations. And we've got a couple more. So they put little chairs in there that we can take out too. So we've got loads of different pieces, and we've got some little square ones as well. So these are all the main wall bits. So these will all come together to form that two by two battle board full of awesome terrain. So now we've got everything popped out, let's start by assembling all of the little pieces for the standalone terrain, and that'll include all the furniture, the workstations, and those crates. Let's start with one of the large crates, and this is the green crate, and then you can see this checker kind of pattern is the inside, but the great thing about the battle systems terrain is they've got video tutorials on how to assemble all of these components and their full range of battle systems terrain on their website. So if you go to battlesystems.co.uk, you'll find a video for every single part. But I thought it'd be cool just to put together a crate, a couple of pieces of the furniture, and then I'll start putting a few sections of the wall together here to show you how easy it is to assemble. And then once we've gone through a few bits, I'll then just set it all up and come back to it fully set up on the battle map. So let's get started with this cargo crate. So here we go. So we're going to just take these pieces here and they're going to slot in. We're going to put the smaller pieces, the end piece, and we're going to push that all the way down. And then we're going to take our other large section, push that in two. And you can already see we've got a nice end piece coming together and then stick the other end piece in like that. Squeeze it down, it's quite squeaky, but once it's in, that's done. And then we've got the bottom, so we can put that in. We can run a little bead of glue in there if we want to, just to hold it in place. But otherwise it can even just stay on its own like that. The friction is gonna hold it in, as you can see, and even patterned underneath, so that's really great. And if you put it on a flat surface like this, you can make sure all the edges are nice and flat and push that down. And then you've got like, this is your lid. So that can just go on like that. But one thing they recommend to do is just to glue this in place like that. And then that's going to give you a nice solid um, like seal. And so when you can kind of pop it on and off, and then when you move the terrain around, that's not going to just slip off. So I'll put a little bit of glue on and you don't really need strong glue, but I've got some Gorilla Super Glue um, and I'm going to use that. So we just take that little section and we hardly need any glue at all for this. It's only card, so it's really easy to stick. So I'll put a little bit on there and then I'm going to pop that in place. Just get it as centered as you can. 
hold that down and that's pretty much going to set within five to ten seconds so we'll leave that set and then I'll show you how that fits onto the lid that's nice and dry now so all we can do is just pop that in and then that's going to just click in place and you can see that that lid's nice and solid now we can turn it upside down it's going to stay on and so that when we do our little searches during the game for gear we just pop it open and have a look so what I would probably recommend doing is just putting a little bit of glue around the bottom as well and just gluing the, the base in place, so to speak. <laughs> I think that'd be quite good. And then that's not going to kind of move or slip like that as you're playing it. Otherwise, you'll be forever doing that. So I'm going to put a little bit of glue and just glue all my crates together because these ones could all go in the box. Um, there's enough room in the box to keep all these little crates and little pieces of furniture. Then we're going to take the little seat cushion that just slides in like that and then we've got the chair base and that just goes in really simply into that Be quite firm to get into place push that in and that's our little chair done line it up just get it nice and straight and there we go we've got a little seat and all done and what another thing you can do is take like a colored pen and just run it around the edges so if you wanted to take like a yellowy orangey pen you could go all around the side and color that in the same goes for the crates too you can color all this like in a gray or green color to match and that'll just add to the kind of detail as well so so far we've got a chair and a crate let's do one more thing a conduit and then we'll move on to the walls and for our conduit we'll get three pieces and you'll see that they, these will be the insides and then the outsides you've got two different patterns and um, with this you want to just bend it into shape so you've got all the, the lines already cut for you so this card is like scored already and so just gently move it along and to get that little bend and then when you're happy this is like the inside so just get it lined up push those slots in like that again you could glue this if you wanted to if you wanted it more permanent and then again make sure that's the inside lay it over the top push it in and there's your conduit all done and ready to go nice flat surface to push it down on and then we're all good to go that looks great really quick and easy and all this scattered terrain is going to just bring the whole environment to life and there we go we've got all the standalone terrain all built now and it looks really great all put together like this we've got some little wanted posters here we've got the little beds tables little lockers consoles the crates, which are a really awesome part of the game. And then you've got these other consoles, little tables. Don't worry about these just yet. You might think, oh no, they don't stand up properly. But we basically clip those to the actual walls. So you'll see that in a little while. And then down here, we've got all the signs that we can also put on the walls once we put together. So let's get on with that now and we'll start putting together the walls for the actual battle map. To show you how the walls go together, I'll just do a little sample with these three sections here. And you have these two bags of clips. And so we'll open those up and we're gonna use these clips to attach all the different pieces together. And you'll see that there's all different ones in there from little uh, right angles to T crosses to straight ones. And you get two bags and you get more than enough clips there to put everything together. And so all you need to do is take your t uh, wall tile, run the little clip in like that. And they go in really easy. And then put your second one in like this. And then if we want one with a big window, say, we can just line it up, pop that in. And that's all there is to it. That's super quick to put together. Doesn't take long at all. And so you can see it's not going to take that long to build all the terrain and get the table set up but let me show you how we attach all the different elements from the signs to the little tables to the wall panels like this so we've got something like this little locker and you can see they've got the little hooks here and it basically just overlaps and clips on and that's going to hold it really firmly in place there nice and sturdy and push it on and then we've also got some like the bed as well so let's take this one off if we want to put the bed in place, you can just run it under one of the grooves and that just keeps it from moving around. And then with these ones, the little wall consoles, they're not going to stand up on their own. So we just hook one over the top and then push it through that little gap and that can stay in place. You can use either, any of these. So if you want it a bit firmer, you can use that one. That's cool. And that's going to be nice and sturdy now. So that panel goes on there like that. 
Then we've also got this little table, and again, there's going to be a hook there. So it won't stand up on its own. So we'll pick the hook up, line it up, and just place that there. And that's going to hold it in place too. So that's not going to move around at all. And then we've got three types of signs. We've got like these little like toilet signs. So they, they're really simple as well. That'll just simply go over the top and clip in place. You've got these ones, which are like floor signs. So they're going to go on the bottom. So they would go there. So little walkway signs. And then you've got these bigger kind of wanted ones. And those work much like those others where we slot them over the back like that. And that's going to hold it nice and sturdy. So you can see already just putting some of these in is really starting to give this some character and bring it to life now. So when it's all set up, you really get that vibe that you're in some kind of futuristic street, space station or mall, something like that. So I love all these little additions they've done and the details are fantastic. These little posters are really great. And there's a good selection of signs that you can choose and dot around as you please. There's also one other sign and that's this little chug sign and you'll notice there's no like grooves or hooks into this one and they recommend in the videos to get some blue tack pop that on the back and then you can stick it on like these girders and so as your characters are walking down this sign kind of stands above them so that's a nice touch and they wanted to add this kind of last minute and to get this design in i think this is some kind of mascot for their range um i don't really need to find out more about this chug character but you can add it on like that so that's really great so this also kind of could give you the idea that you could make your own little signs and start customizing it with posters and things. And just with some simple blue tack, you can attach anything and it looks really great. It all fits in. But I definitely recommend going to check out all the videos for assembling all these pieces on their website at battlesystems.co.uk because that's going to really help you kind of put it all together for the first time. The videos are really great and they cover every single element. So I've only done a few in this video. There's no point in me replicating all their awesome videos. So definitely recommend checking that out. And I'll put a link below in the description so you can easily find it. Okay, so now we've got all the standalone terrain put together and we've gone through how to attach all the different signs to bring this to life. So now I'll go away, set up all the wall panels on the battle mat and you'll see what it all looks like together all in one place. Okay, so I've put together all the walls now and on page 48 there's an example mission briefing called Salvage Run and I use the little diagram there on the right hand side. So I use that map to set it up and once it was all set up I still had all these little uh, plastic pegs left over that hold all the pieces together and I took the doors out for the sections it told me to on the map. But here we go, get ready for it. Here's the whole battle map completely set up now. And I've got to say, I'm so impressed with this. It looks brilliant and I can't wait to start playing. I just know this is going to be such an amazing game. But this just like from all those bits of card all put together has just created this mad gaming board. And it's going to be really immersive. The details are fantastic. I love it. I just love all the little signs and everything. So this is really brilliant. I think seeing pictures of it and watching videos doesn't do it justice. Having it now like in the flesh, so to speak, and actually putting it together on the table. I'm just really impressed. Uh, this is so good. And considering it's just made of card, um, what a great gaming table to play on. So let's take some close-up shots now so you can see the miniatures interacting with the different elements of the board and the different elements of the terrain. And this is where it really comes into its own when we get down on that table level and we can start seeing through the different windows and doors and all the signs and the miniatures all interacting with each other. It just looks so cool. And then here you can see all the different miniatures laid out. And so when you're playing, you can see through into the different rooms. There's loads of areas to take cover. And this is like one of the NPCs set up. We've got the purge. They've stumbled across one of the crew members there. And then we've got the different control panels and then all the cargo crates dotted about to search for. So it's really immersive once you start getting it all laid out like this and you start getting down and really looking into it and all these little signs hanging up are really bringing it to life, giving it tons of character. And these long shots down through the different corridors, I really like those. So that, that was one feature that really stood out to me looking down there. And then having them coming through the door like this, there's another one of the purge there. He's seen something he doesn't like. And so he's going to come through and start moving towards them. Again, more signs. And uh, yeah, just awesome. Really happy with this. And I can't wait to start playing it. It's going to be so good to really 
kind of get into the narrative behind it all. But these wanted signs, great, really, really kind of add into the whole effect. And again, there's that purge in the background, the toilet sign. So this is going to be for some great photos as we start playing. And um, yeah, we're all done. So I can't wait now to actually start going through all the rules, get these miniatures painted up and then actually get a game going. Now we've done the unboxing and built the terrain and laid it out on the battle mat. I'd love to hear what you think about core space so far. And if you play it, drop some comments down below and um, let me know some of your favourite aspects of the game. It'd be awesome to hear from you. Come and join me for the next video where we'll go through all the tokens that will include all the different weapons and accessories and the character boards for the game. And then I'm also going to start painting these really soon so we can then start going through all the rules, start an introductory game and then start a campaign where we play through all the different scenarios in the book. I was really excited to get started with Core Space, get the box open all the contents out have a close look and build the terrain and i've got to say after doing this video i'd like it even more than when i started so this is awesome and i can't wait to share loads more videos with you and i'll put links to everything in the description below so you can go to battle systems and find out how to put all the different elements together and also some links where you can buy the game and so that'll all be in the description below but thanks so much for watching. Please like if you like it, subscribe for more videos like this, and don't forget to hit that notification bell to join me next time on Tabletop Skirmish Games. If you like this kind of content and would like to support the channel, then please check out my Patreon page, and thanks to everyone who's joined so far. It's really awesome. We hang out on Discord, talk about the hobby, share ideas, and help each other out, and you'll get some perks there that you're not going to find anywhere else. So I'll put a link in the description, and it'll be great to see you there.